Welcome back everybody. Today we're going back to Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. We're going to check out the storage requirement. Welcome to Respawn PC. I'm Dunk. Let's game on. Let's start by saying that the minimum requirement said that SSD is actually required to play along with 30 FPS 1080p at the loop reset. SSD require. So let's check that out. First off, as you can see, it's uh, the HDD. It's actually a one terabyte Western Digital Black Edition for gamer with a 64 megabyte of uh, cache memory. The loading time with the HDD was insane. It took 15 minutes just to be able to be in game. But mind when once you're in game, you don't see the difference. You don't see that you are on a HDD. You only see it when you, you load the new mission. You load the game. 15 minutes to load the game. 8 minutes to load the mission. I mean, the game is still playable once it's loaded. You just, are you willing to wait until everything is loaded? Or sure it won't be a quick game. Uh, you come back from job or school. Oh, I'll play uh, 5 minutes before uh, dinner. It will take 15 just to uh, open the game. And another 8 just to load the mission. Getting a SSD SATA drive. This is a crucial 1 terabyte with a max speed of uh, 560 megabyte per second launching the game from steam to the start button splash screen it will take 50 seconds and then from there when you click start to load the mission i took the exact same mission to have the same amount of uh, loading things it took 40 seconds so compared to 15 minutes and 8 minutes now it's a 50 second and 40 second that is a huge difference in speed to say that it's require the game still play with the hdd you're just willing to wait for it and then you have nvme this is a western digital blue sn580 a gen 4 nvme we get to launch the game in 40 seconds and enter the first mission in 30 seconds. So we gain 10 seconds on both launching and loading a mission using an NVMe over an SSD. SATA. But it's still nothing compared to the HDD. So is uh, jumping from SATA SSD uh, worth to NVMe? I don't think so. But if you have a HDD, I won't recommend to install it on, uh, on it. If you don't mind to play also the game of uh, waiting, go for it, HDD. I'm not the one who's going to wait. But... Right now, this is loading the campaign. I'm very sure if you try to load in a multiplayer or co-op, you'll probably be dropped by the server. I don't know if it's co-op or uh, multiplayer. I didn't try yet. But if other players uh, have to wait uh, eight minutes before you load the session, I'm sure it's the other player is going to drop out before you even start uh, the game. Anyway, that's it for the HDD, SD, SSD and NVMe for Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And subscribe.